Well, I can understand that, but if there's anything the Crown can do to put you at ease, to make you stay more comfortable. Thank you, but uh, I think that we should just head on back home. And... Oh, brother. Honey, what's wrong? Delilah, I... Delilah, what are we going to do? We can't just take off after she came all the way up here from the Caribbean and everything. Yeah, you're right. I'll give her a call. Give her a call? Look at your watch. Yeah, it's 9.45, so. Right, 9.45. Delilah believes that the life begins at least after 12 noon. I guarantee after last night she's not going to be up. Yeah, I think you're right, but in this case she's going to have to make an exception. You want to take bets on this, dear? Mm -hmm. She will not be up until after 3 o'clock, believe me. Well, I'll be coming to land you later myself. Uh, Brad and I have some business to work through. Perhaps if you told the lady, she might make the trip with me. Oh, I, I think Delilah would like that very much. Really, I can't. Yes, I can't. can't. Sure you can. Sweetheart, there's nothing to it. Well, it's, it's, it's just the kind of thing that I really don't want to do. Dee Dee, this is a party. This is a plain, ordinary, run-of-the-mill party. You know? Queen sends her regrets, president can't make it. So it's just run an ordinary, run-of-the-mill run -of -the party. Yes. Everybody in town has heard about it. There's been stuff in the paper about it. Supposedly, it's the event of the year, whatever that means. If you're there with me, then it's the event of the year. If you're not, it's not. It won't be. Okay, how about this one? I don't have anything to wear. That is no problem. We can fix that. All you have to do no, is... No, no, what no, what no. You no, you haven't even heard what I was about no, to say. No, no, I don't want you to buy me anything, Bo. I mean, I'm not going to be a kept woman. I would love to keep you if I could just get you. All right, okay. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. But what I was going to say, I was just going to suggest that maybe you go down to the uh, Symphony resale store. That's all around, man. Yeah, I'll bet you could find an evening gown in there that's probably only been worn one time, maybe to an opera, by some lady who just decided then to donate it to charity, you know, some fancy, frivolous little female. They mm -hmm. get it for 50 bucks, mm -hmm. something thereabouts, yeah. Very clever, very clever. You always hang out at this symphony resale shop? When I'm lonely. <laughs> Still, I don't, I don't know. Still, you don't, okay. <clears throat> Enough uh, fooling around. Why don't you just tell me why you really don't want to go to Cassie's party? Okay, no, no fooling around. I just, I just don't know if I can spend an evening with Delilah and your father. Well, that's definitely not fooling around. Yeah. yeah. Um, I see your point. Sweetheart, I cannot make them disappear. Sooner or later, we're going to have to find a way that we can just live in this world with them. We? No, no, yes. no, 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 we. You. You have to do that. I don't have to do that. I mean, you know how to talk to these people. That's what this is all about, right? But I can't do that. You know, when I think of him here that day, your father, I get furious. I know, I, I'm not asking you to like them. I'm just asking you to be civil to them. See? <sighs> hey, th listen. The Vernon Inn. That's on more or less neutral ground, isn't it? Why don't you just go to the party with me? I want you to see what happens. Okay? Come on. Hey, what do you say? of the best cherry pie in whole town. No, I won't be able to my gowns tomorrow night. Ah. I think I'd tell you your date for tomorrow night. <gasps> oh, you're even supplying the guys. Uh, this is a terrific party. I'm only lending this one. Uh-huh. Get ready. Uh-huh. It's me, Gary Corelli. <gasps> <laughs> He's <laughs> still my heart. <laughs> but I thought that you two were, uh, um, being seen around together. Well, and, uh, uh, come on, that was when I was a child. Uh, tomorrow I come of age. Uh, I decide I'm going to play the field and see what turns up. Uh -huh, uh, don't knock it. That's very good advice. It really is. No, no. Girls get married too early. They get married uh, too fast. And what happens is they don't realize what it is that they are not missing. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, according to the guest list, uh, my mother made out for the party. Yeah. All the guys coming are above my dancing age. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to look like a college reunion from about 1960. Don't knock that. It was a very good year. I 
I'm just saying it's going to look like somebody took the financial pages out of the banner and invited everybody mentioned. Okay, you are coming of age. You want a little advice? I will give you the most important advice. Numero uno. Okay? Remember this. Sam Wanda told you this. Okay. It is much easier to fall in love with a rich guy than with a poor guy. Uh, and it's uh, uh, and it's maybe even more convenient. <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no million ever came my way, but still, I have a certain faith in it. <laughs> yes. Thanks for the... Uh... Coffee in the bar. Sure, my pleasure. See you again. Yeah, oh, of course. Right. <laughs> All right, good luck. What's that? Oh, darling, I don't know. They're coming here, they go out here. I don't know their names. He didn't look like he couldn't afford a cup of coffee. You have a very good eye. That kid was not a deadbeat. Just that he didn't have anything uh, small in the way of change. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, the, the smallest thing that he had to give me. To make change was a hundred dollar bill. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> la -la. <laughs> oh boy. What's wrong? Well, I think that kid was hurt. I think that? that kid was hurt very badly. Look at this. This is fresh blood. One life to live will continue in a moment. to break it off so quickly. I'd like to keep you here for a couple of years. Mm. I'd like that too. But it doesn't work that way. We have jobs, we have responsibilities. That's what they tell me. Health club's gonna open this week. And the chinchilla contest. And I guess law and order is calling you. I guess. Bowden is still out there somewhere. Dave. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I know it's, it's, it's your world. I, I, last night I realized that it's important to you. I'm just gonna have to work on uh, making you forget about all that when you come home at night. That's what I want, Samantha. That's what I need. I'm gonna be like this every night, just the two of us. The honeymoon is never gonna end. Oh. Yes. oh, that's a great sight. What is? Oh, the two of you sitting like all your troubles are past. This is just a, a, a basic uh, office flirtation. They actually can't even get this little gal to go on a date. The, what? Yeah. What? Are you made of stone, young woman? How can you resist this? This handsome, irresistible, desirable, high-stepping, fast-talking No, 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 him I like, him I like. It's, uh, <laughs> it's what goes with him that worries me a little bit, you know, that whole Buchanan thing. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine myself in his world. Mm -hmm. You mean it's a, it's a wild, wild world, sweetheart, like that uh, Cassie Callison party that, that he wants to take you to the door and is going to make as fancy as she can make it. Well, there are going to be some ordinary people there, like me. You're going? Hey, wait a minute. Anybody that is somebody is going to be there, and I am somebody. Am I not somebody? You got that right, honey. <laughs> and, and my brother-in-law, Dr. Larry, is going to be there. And uh, his son, Dan, is taking your sister. I mean, it's not going to be a load of, uh, of strangers there, right? Huh? Well, I have heard Joy and Connie talking about what to wear. Ha, ha, ha. Now, you got it, baby. That's what you got to worry about. You want to look good, right? You want to... Okay, I'm sold, I'm sold. Okay. You know, I'm, uh, I'm probably going to have to go shopping instead of having lunch. You could have a sandwich first, couldn't you? I don't think so. Really? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.